Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come to say thank you. Thank you Lord. We thank you, God, for another day to be before your people, Father God. You said where there are two or more gathered in your name, there you are in the midst. So we want to thank you for your presence here in Maywood. Father God, we ask that you walk with us, Father God, that you talk with us, Father God, that you elevate our voices as we go and we chant, Father God. We ask that you allow it to be heard throughout the state of Illinois right now, Father God. We pray, Father God, that every family that is represented here, Father God, that you're watching over them, that you're blessing them, that you're protecting them, Father God, while the men, Father God, that are standing in this circle, Father God, are here to make a difference, here to make a change, Father God. We pray, Father God, over the city of Maywood, every city in, the, in, in Illinois right now, Father God. We pray, Father God, that you would let your hedge of protection around us as we go forth, Father God, on your mission. Because you woke each and every one of us up today with this purpose in our heart, Father God, to change this situation, Father God. Father God, we come to you humbly, Father God, praying, Father God, that your people are edified, but most of all, that you are glorified with our works. In your mighty son, Jesus Christ's name, we pray as we go forth, taking you first. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. But I'm okay. out here just supporting all these groups out here that are standing up for peace, um, nonviolence, and um, to just encourage our the people in our community okay. um, to stop hurting each other, stop killing each other, and to love each other. So I'm out here, you know, in the name of peace. Well, well it's important for us to be involved. First and foremost, we residents of Maywood, long-term residents of Maywood, uh, alumni from both the elementary schools and the zone. And so as we, as we move forward in our life, you know, God has put on our heart to definitely come back and sow back into the community. Now, this thing that we experience in the community, we need some direction on. We definitely need some prayer, right? But most importantly, we need some, some faith and action from everybody. That means holding our families together and everybody doing what they're supposed to be doing, taking their rights to play. That means making better decisions. That means our children need to be empowered so they have, so that, that we don't have to be a part of all the abuses going on, drug abuse, and, uh, and making sure they get uh, the academic uh, skills together in school, preparing themselves for the, for the next level. And so it's a, there's a lot of things that go on. So, so as we come out, we just want to be a, a gateway and a stepping stone to make sure that they have the information to overcome everything that leads to violence. So violence is, is a result of the problem. We want to get in front of that problem, make sure they're clear in Jesus' name. There you go. Thank Again, you so much. We always focusing on other people killing us, but we got to bring awareness to us killing us. It's a pandemic of black on black crime going on and the scoop organization stop killing our own people. Uh, we're going to spearhead this, this journey to, to end black on black crime because we cannot continue to speak about police brutality and police shootings and fail to uh, address us in our own backyard. Because again, the numbers are very low when it comes to police killing unarmed black men versus black men killing black men. And we have to address that issue. And that's why Scoop is here to march for peace, to march to end gun violence, to march to end black on black crime. We got to stop killing us, y'all. Love us. Love us. And evolved in this. Okay. Uh, Trustee Nathaniel George Booker for the Village of Maywood. It's so important to be involved because community safety is very important to our community. Evolving our community is very important. Moving things forward for a better community is very important. And uh, making sure that we all come together to make this community a better place is extremely important. That's why it's important to be here today. All right. If we're not working together, we're not doing anything. That's right. Okay, my sister, How talk to the people. Hey, I'm Phyllis Duncan. I'm the founder of Mothers of Murdered Sons. Uh, the murders are killing us. It's killing our spirit. It's killing our children, our legacy, our history. And we're out here now to bring awareness to the uh, many murders, 13 murders here in Maywood. Uh, Illinois. So uh, as a people, we must come together. Uh, it's going to take us as a change. All so right. um, thank you. All right. My sister, yeah. talk to the people. Tell people why it's so important for you to be involved in this. I think it's so important for our entire community to be involved because uh, once, my name is Eileen Olivia and I'm running as trustee for the village of Maywood. But right now we are facing a pandemic of our own. We're facing a pandemic in our neighborhoods and it's the murders of our children. We need somebody to step in and take action. We're tired of marching. We're tired of saying their name. What we need right now is real change. Yeah, be involved. Man, it's so important for us to be here to be involved because we need to be one in Christ at first, number one. 
and we need to look out for each other. We need to lift each other up in our community. We need to watch over our children, protect our children, love our children. And us as individuals need to come together and stop the violence. We can stop them with the guns, but we all must unite as one. We cannot do it by ourselves. That's why we're out here today and blessed to be out here with these great people of God, you know, in this world. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Welcome to the great, great village of Maywood, probably one of the greatest villages that we've ever known. Um, we're here to thank everybody for coming out and definitely let us know that you all know that we're definitely marching for peace in our neighborhoods, man. We can't continue to talk about police brutality and we don't stand up for our own and stick up for our own. So thank Noble Knights. Thank you, Black Eyes Poet, for coming out to Maywood and showing us some love. Thank you so much. To, to influence peace and unity amongst our people and, and understand that violence is not the way because life is what produces and produces positivity, not death and destruction. Some love for unity, for all the people in the neighborhood, for all those that have been struck by these, this trauma, by violence. We're here to say no more. We're here to say love. We're here to say peace. We're here to say unity in our black culture. Everybody here today is showing up for that. That's the message. Just in the community, why is it so, so important for you to be here today? We need unity and peace, man. There you go. The most important things. You know, we need unity and peace, man. You know, you we talk about if we're going to grow the community, we got to have peace. Thank you so much. You Representative Welch, we are here. Brother, tell everybody why is this so important for the community to see this movement where we're calling for uh, the community to put the guns down, man. Why, why is this so important? Tell, tell everybody who's watching. Well, I think it's important, number one, that we got black men showing up and leading the community. It's important that they see us out here, they see us taking the lead, uh, they seeing us being role models and leading by example. Uh, we have too many people being killed. One is too many. Right. Uh, and we're, we're seeing older people killed and babies killed. And we just can't have it. You know, if, if, if black lives matter, we have to make sure we take care of our own black lives first. And that's what it's all about, coming together as a community to show support for one another and show others that we value our lives as well. Thank you so much, my brother. This state, and we're saying that it's time to stop killing us, brothers and sisters. We can say that black lives matter all we want, but if it don't matter to us, if we can't put the guns down, then it's a mute point. Why are we all here today? We are here today for Shannon Newsom, 21, killed on the uh, 1400 block of 6th Street. We're out here for Tyshawn Stone, 24 years old, killed on a 1000 block of 12th Street right here in Maywood. While we out here, we out here for Temp Bridge, 36, shot and killed on the 1000 block of 14th Street in Maywood. While we out here, we out here for Robert Thompson, killed, 44 years old, um, killed on the 2000 block of 12th Street in Maywood. While we out here, we out here for Daryl Woodward, 25, shot and killed on 2100 block of 9th. Brothers and sisters, it is time for us to put the guns down. It is time for us to say that enough is enough, no more. And we know that there are hidden hands. We know that there are hidden rocks being thrown to manipulate our people and killing each other. And we're going to address that issue too. See that house behind me? See that two flat, that brown two flat back there? That brown two flat is a home of Chairman Fred Hampton Senior. He grew up here. He was uh, born and raised in Maywood. Well, he was born in Louisiana, but he was raised in Maywood. The school right behind us is Irving Gray School. This is the school that he went to. What's important is that many, what's, what's unfortunate is that many of our youngsters and students, they never were taught about Chairman Fred Hampton Senior, okay? And by them not knowing that, uh, that one of their own who grew up in this community, who rallied and protested and fought white supremacists and fought against civil, um, civil injustice, it's important that they know that this is their part of their history. So I come out here um, in regards to, to uh, anti-violence because we cannot get um, used and get accustomed to allowing killings and murders to happen in our community. If violence happened in our community, those who commit violence should be so uncomfortable and uh, those who support us should be so uncomfortable that they turn them in and realize that we're not going to settle for that. So that's why I'm out here. I'm out here supporting Noble Knights. I here supporting Poet. I support all the other ones who's out here standing against violence. I see the sister Phyllis Duncan. This is a mother of mother, moms, uh, mother, mothers against a murdered, murdered son. son. Mm -hmm. This is Phyllis Duncan. She lost a son. She's been rallying and fighting and, and protesting against violence in this community for years. And there's many more. So we cannot have any more families and mothers weeping tears and, and, and going through funerals dealing with losing their child. So that's why I'm out here. I'm out here to support. And I'm Thank out here you. to get rid of this violence. Thank you, brother. So what we're going to do today, we're going to march 
And we're going to march loudly through my hometown of Maywood, down this street, down Madison, down Fifth Avenue, but they're going to hear us across the state of Illinois. We're going to show them that it can be done in a peaceful, non-violent, loving the good cops and supporting the good cops way. Our non-violent voice must be louder than the violent voice. But the first thing we gotta do is look in the mirror, ladies and gentlemen. One of the most painful, most challenging things to do is look in the mirror because you gotta take ownership of what's been going on. This black on black crime, this black killing black has gotta stop. And we're drawing a line in the sand right now. You're here today because you understand we can no longer continue this way. I'm glad to see so many organizations represented here today. Mothers of Murdered Sons, Noble Knights, Brother in Christ, Scoop, Stop Killing Our Old People, the Poet Organization, our elected officials, yes. SEIU Local 73, and the wonderful, beautiful residents of the city of Maywood. Yes. And I can't forget my brother, Chairman Fred Hampton. Get up, brother, again a nice round of applause. Free them all. 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 Brothers and sisters, make no mistake that as this brother right here, myself, are in Kenosha and are in Milwaukee and fighting with the Jacob family for police and justice. It would be hypocritical of us to tell the police to stop killing us when we can't tell our own people to stop killing each other. The Black Lives Matter, we say it all the time, that it has to matter to us first. But I don't want you to be under any illusion that there are hidden hands and hidden rocks being thrown, perpetuating the violence in our own community. There's no reason why in the black communities we find high levels of lead in our waters. Lead is one of the most dangerous agents that you can find, that you can put in the system of a human being. It increases the aggressiveness of the human being. So when you see us being angry and fighting one another, and back in the 70s, if you go back there far enough like I do, you used to see planes coming over our community with streaks behind the planes. Those were called chemtrails. Somebody say chemtrails. You don't know what they're dropping in our neighborhood. You don't know what they're putting in our waters. And then on top of that, they make it easily and accessible for freights of guns to be dropped in our community. So what are you doing? You are creating the perfect environment for us to kill us. Who else are we going to kill in our own community? There are no other nationalities living next door to us. So they know exactly what they're doing. So again, as we put the accountability on ourselves, we're going to make sure that we still fight hard against this government. And when I say this government, I'm talking about that there are sections of the government that don't want to see unity in Maywood, that don't want to see the guns put down because they know that if you come together, if you organize yourself, if you decide that we are going to elect our own officials and put our own candidates in office, then they have no choice but to give us the resources that we need to change our community. They don't want that. So instead, they highlight what's going on in Maywood this person is being killed. That person is being killed. Chicago, did you know Chicago is not even the murder capita of the United States? But if you listen to the president, you would think Chicago is the worst city in the United States. I don't even think that we're in the top 10 of the most violent cities in, in the United States. So we have to change the narrative, but it starts with you and I. You got to believe it in your heart. You got to believe it in your mind that we can change the reality in our own community. And it's this auto zone is significant to our family. And in reference to Sean Alexander, he was murdered here yeah, while he was yeah. changing the light bulb of his vehicle. Yeah. I was the first officer on the scene, the most gruesome scene I ever seen in my 25 year career as a police officer. Mm. See your little cousin have his brains blown out, eyeballs blown out. It's just so sad. Yeah. Down here, he sacrificed his life.
because of senseless violence. We have to stop the violence, fellas, gentlemen, ladies. We have to stop it. So many families have been hurt senseless violence. I can go on and on on this microphone for the kids that I've coached. Yes, we yes. go for Sean, Al Sean Alexander. Yes. We can say Claire Moody. Yes. We can say Derek Lemon. Yes. We can say last week Bobby Lewis. Yes. It's just so many. Yes. So many of my family members, so many of my bucks, so many of my pirates. We have to stop this. Yes. We got to come together and just love, communicate, conflict resolution. Let's do these things. Let's come together as one, let's stop the violence, and please uplift each other. Yeah, man. In my conscious mind in search. I was given a gift by God at birth. The ability to speak those things that are not into existence as though they were. The universe has to react to what I think and feel. Because my think become feeling, my feeling becomes spoken words, making it real. As long as I don't have any doubt, God will go into my invisible inheritance and bring it out to the visible. For all to see that the power to control my future life lies within me. 